Hello and welcome to another edition of Myrtle's Rant. This is a very, very important issue that has come up this week during the organizational part of the mass gathering that is happening in Pretoria and Cape Town and in fact all around the country on Saturday the 17th of September. So in forming a committee, myself and other cannabis industry and community leaders, uh, we've had to pull together really quickly and, and work together and all pitch in so that we could make this, which is our reaction to the Hayes club case dismissal make it absolutely relevant and and on point and strike while the iron's hot that's why we've given everybody until you know it's the 17th to arrange that you can be there or be at your local municipality with the memorandum on that saturday it won't take up too much of a time so please just make the time now but in this gathering of this committee and everybody in the committee i know really well and they're all incredibly strong active members of of our community they there's this thing that's come up called unity and there's this thing that's come up called diversity. So you'll see here I've done my little school teacher props and so here we have unity and there we have diversity and basically the cannabis community is united in its diversity. If you look back on any of the footage or the old photographs of any of the past marches or big cannabis gatherings like the D-Day that we had seven years in a row and you looked out on that crowd and you know Jules and I were very privileged to stand on the stage and in all of those events and we could see the diversity in front of us. We could see young and old and every race and every size and every gender and everything that goes to make our Rainbow Nation. And you know, there's also the word out there that the Rainbow Nation is a little bit of a, a myth. So we are diverse, but are we united and is it possible to be united? So if we look at unity, Diversity, yes, we are diverse. If we look at unity, this is a little bit more of a difficult one because it's very, very difficult to get human beings who have their self-interest at heart and self-preservation and self-promotion at heart. That is our human instinct. When you look at unity anywhere in the world, it's incredibly uh, difficult to achieve. You know, as you know, Fields of Green for All has got ECOSOC status at the United Nations. And there's something there called the Vienna Consensus, where all 156 member states need to agree on something. There needs to be a consensus and it's incredibly difficult to achieve. They can't just change those conventions. They've been in place since 1961 and they took decades to put into place. So they're going to take decades to undo. So standing together in all of our diversity is incredibly, incredibly difficult because we also have this thing that's called gender disparities in South Africa. We've got gender inequality. We've got income inequality. We've got living standards inequality. And I know that Fields of Green for All has often been accused and rightly so, of not being a diverse organization. We have tried to promote unity, but as far as a diverse organization and diverse representation on our team has not been possible in 12 years. Yes, we have lots of people close to us that are very, very diverse, but as far as our core team is concerned, we're, we're all basically white or close to white, if you want to put it in South African terms. And the main reason why we are not diverse is something that has to do with income inequality and access to resources in South Africa. Where we stay on the jazz farm is approximately five kilometers from the nearest uh, taxi point. And a lot of our more diverse community live far away. We're just outside of town. So it's very difficult for people to get here on a regular basis. And also our volunteers at Fields of Green for All all have their side hustle. Their privileged position has allowed them to volunteer for us, not be paid a salary and be on a payroll with a, with a retirement annuity and medical aid. That, that's not how it's been running for the last 12 years. We acknowledge we are not diverse, but we also acknowledge that there are challenges that are maybe a bit insurmountable. And I think that when it comes to unity, we can only try our best. And instead of accusing us of not being diverse or accusing us of not having unity amongst the whole South African, African and worldwide cannabis community, let's rather look for solutions. So this is my third prop, ladies and gentlemen, and the solutions, I love the banner that says we are united in our diversity, but we need solutions to the problems that we face. And those solutions I'll be discussing over the next few weeks in Myrtle's rant. Obviously, top of the list is solutions enough money to fund all of this strategic lit litigation and all of these negotiations with our government and keeping our finger on the pulse throughout Africa and throughout the world. All of that takes money. There will be discussions in the next few weeks around funding, around 
how how do we create umbrellas for policy considerations and whatever comes up in my head because this is what has come up in my head in the last week since Myrtle's rant and I've really enjoyed getting this off my chest and I love you all very much and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.